But first, the club fire tragedy 10 years later. We've learned that former Attorney General Patrick Lynch is going to Brazil to help the government there deal with the club fire there that killed more than 200 people. As you may remember, Lynch was Rhode Island's top prosecutor handling the investigation of the tragic Station Nightclub fire. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story on WPRI.com, and he's here now with the exclusive details. We've learned Patrick Lynch is on his way to Brazil as we speak and is staying for a week. That means he'll be there for the 10th anniversary of the Station Nightclub fire. A January 27th fire at a nightclub in Santa Maria, Brazil, claimed the lives of some 240 people. According to reports, investigators say a band member fired off a flare as part of their show, igniting soundproofing foam that coated the inside of the building. The details are hauntingly similar to the February 2003 West Warwick Station nightclub fire that killed 100 people and injured hundreds more. Neither the club in Brazil nor West Warwick were equipped with sprinklers. Hundreds of people. The station nightclub fire consumed Patrick Lynch's career as Rhode Island Attorney General. His experience investigating and prosecuting the Rhode Island case is being called upon in Brazil. Target 12 reached Lynch by phone. He confirmed the trip, but declined to give an interview or provide details about his role in Santa Maria. Criminal negligence. Lynch's office prosecuted three people in the wake of the station nightclub fire, including club owners Jeffrey and Michael Dadarian, as well as Dan Beakley, the great white band manager who ignited the pyrotechnics that sparked the deadly blaze. While Brazil's criminal justice system is very different from the U.S., Lynch has experience working with prosecutors internationally from when he was president of the National Attorney General's Association. He currently works in private practice, focusing on government and public affairs. Lynch was criticized by some for his prosecution of the case. Many wanted to see more people charged. His office also handled victim outreach, helped change the state's fire code, and in the end decided to release evidence from the case to the public. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. We have more on the club fire tragedy 10 years later on Eyewitness News at 11. Tonight, the Target 12 investigators reveal what happened to a key and controversial figure from the fire, the town inspector who many thought should have been charged. We'll also have more Wednesday on the 10th anniversary of the club fire tragedy. Our in-depth coverage begins on Eyewitness News live at 5.